Ciao guys, I'm Wood here, so in this video I'm going to talk about a new update coming soon on Windows Mixed Reality, the one that's going to allow you to open the x86 app, so the regular desktop app that you use on your PC directly in Windows Mixed Reality in the Cliff House. The news went a little bit under the radar, so let's talk about it and let's see why it's so, so interesting. Let's get to it. Okay, so to start, we have to say that you're going to be able to check out this new feature on the 1832.9 build that is on the fast ring right now. So if you're not um, usual on the insider build, well, there are the fast ring where stuff are not always very stable. There's a slow ring where stuff are pretty ready to get to the like public and then there's the regular one where the stable one that is the update that you're going to receive. Well, I'm usually on the slow ring, so I didn't receive this update yet, but now I also opted out for Insider for this period because I have to work on the PyMask 5K review and so I did the system to be very, very stable. Anyway, if you are willing to do it, you can install it right now, opt in the fast string and check it out by yourself. But what you're gonna notice right away is that design of everything changed a little. So uh, the design of this tile, the menu with the tile went a little in a different direction when now they're using more icons. I don't really like it to be honest, but it's not final. So probably they wrote back on the different thing. And for sure, I'm gonna be able to know more about all the Windows Mixed Reality platform and also AR platform with the HoloLens that actually is part of Windows Mixed Reality also in Barcelona, because for sure, they're gonna talk about that. And also we're gonna see some software there. Because remember that here we're talking about the same kernel for the HoloLens and not. But let's get back in track and let's talk about this update. And the one thing that you're gonna notice right away is the fact that you're gonna find in the pin apps also the classic app beta. Well, in here you're gonna be able to find all the application, the XA, that are installed in your computer and you're gonna be able to open finally all these applications. That is very, very important for productivity and it's something that actually we miss right now because the only way you can use x86 application now is to open a window in Windows Mixed Reality with the desktop. But the problem there is the fact that you just see your monitor. So if you have a 1080p monitor as I do, well, you can scratch it, make it bigger and bigger, but everything will scale like a 1080p monitor. So even if you have a super big screen, you're not gonna be able to put just Premiere on the side and everything with your folder on the other, and you're not gonna be able to like change the scaling at all of your desktop. So if you want a super wide screen, well, you're not gonna be able to do it. And well, this is something that is gonna get to change because when you open an x86 app, you can actually like scale it in different way in your desktop. Stop. And if you're gonna be able to do that in the same way, well, imagine to work on Premiere and having the possibility to, to use like your virtual world completely as a timeline. So I've been a very, very long timeline and be able to work on the different pieces much, much better. Well, there is gonna be very, very interesting. And right now we're not able to do that yet. And another thing that we have to talk about it is some app are actually starting to support Windows Mixed Reality, even if they're not in the Windows Store, because right now, just if you open with the UWP, so the Windows Store app, you're able to use them. Well, if you consider Chrome actually support Windows Mixed Reality, but there's no way to open Chrome in Windows Mixed Reality right now. So that's a bummer. So if you are using like Chrome every time, well, finally you're gonna be able to open your own windows in Windows Mixed Reality in the Cliff House and then use it as much as you want. And when you have the support for like the 360 video that you wanna watch or whatever you wanna watch, well, you just click there and it's gonna open right away. Now, some of the questions that I have, yes, you can use the mouse and keyboard in VR right now in the Cliff House, but are you gonna be able to like drag an app from one part to the other, drag an app from an X x86 app to the other in the Cliff House? Now, actually solution to use your mouse and keyboard would be also to use the flashlight feature that you have in Windows Mixed Reality, but I didn't find yet a good way to use it and to have it like just looking at the mouse and keyboard will be very very interesting to maybe like use the rgb lights for the cameras to understand where the keys are and creating like a mock-up and like a virtualized keyboard there and when you put your hands on it well you're gonna be able to see your hands with the camera as well i assure you that when you want to work there and you don't see the keyboard well it start to get a little harder and so you just rather like take it out and use it on your desktop so 
that will be like something very interesting to have in the future. So this is the update that we're gonna see pretty much. I'm very interested in that because I really wanna see if we're gonna be able to be more productive in VR. Right now, I will really would like to try to have this super big timeline and be able to uh, kind of add it a little better. I'm thinking about of all the new ads that coming with higher and higher resolution, like the HP Copper with 2160 by 2160. Well, that is gonna be enough resolution to already use it a little better. And also there, they were working on the comfort. So if you have something comfortable with high enough resolution, are you willing to get inside VR for maybe longer and get your work done there instead of in your real reality in front of a computer? Well, let me know in the comment below. For now, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, dislike, subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech. I see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.